Ladies and gentlemen, it's a pleasure to be here with you today. I want to talk to you about something that's not just important, but essential for your personal growth, your relationships, and your overall success in life. Our topic today is never force anyone to choose you. Now, you might be thinking, Jim, what does this have to do with success? With personal development? With achieving my dreams? Well, let me tell you, it has everything to do with all of that and more. You see, the way we interact with others, the way we present ourselves, and the way we value ourselves are all interconnected. They're all part of the bigger picture of who we are and who we're becoming. Let's start with a fundamental truth. You are valuable. You are unique. There's no one else quite like you in this world. But here's the kicker. So is everyone else, every single person you meet, every individual you interact with, they're just as unique, just as valuable as you are. And that's where our journey begins. When we try to force someone to choose us, whether it's in a relationship, a friendship, a business partnership, or any other aspect of life, we're essentially saying two things. First, we're saying that we don't believe we're valuable enough on our own merit. Second, we're disrespecting the other person's right to make their own choices. Both of these are recipes for disaster, my friends. Let's break this down a bit. When you force someone to choose you, you're coming from a place of scarcity. You're operating under the belief that if this person doesn't choose you, you've lost something irreplaceable. But that's not true. The word is abundant. There are opportunities everywhere. Connections to be made, relationships to be formed, your job is not to cling desperately to any one person or opportunity, but to make yourself the kind of person that others naturally want to choose. Now, I can already hear some of you saying, but Jim, what if I really want this specific person to choose me? What if I believe they're the one? And to that I say, the best way to get someone to choose you is to become the best version of yourself. It's to focus on your own growth, your own development, your own journey. Because when you do that, you become magnetic. You become irresistible. Not in a superficial way, but in a deep, meaningful way that attracts the right people and opportunities to you. Think about it this way. Have you ever tried to force a flower to bloom? You can't, can you? You can provide the right conditions, good soil, water, sunlight, but you can't force the petals open. It has to happen naturally. The same is true with people. You can't force someone to choose you, but you can create the conditions that make you an attractive choice. So what are these conditions? Well, it starts with self-improvement. Personal development isn't just a buzzword, folks. It's a way of life. It's about constantly working on yourself, expanding your knowledge, honing your skills, developing your character. When you commit to lifelong learning and growth, you become more interesting, more capable, more confident. And confidence, real confidence that comes from competence and self-awareness is incredibly attractive. But it's not just about developing yourself. It's also about how you treat others. When you force someone to choose you, you're not respecting their autonomy. You're not honoring their right to make their own decisions. And let me tell you, people can sense that. They can feel when they're being manipulated or pressured and it's not a good feeling. Instead, focus on being the kind of person who adds value to others' lives. Be generous with your time, your knowledge, your support, not in a way that seeks to create obligation, but in a genuine desire to contribute. When you approach relationships, any kind of relationship, with the mindset of what can I give, rather than what can I get, you create a positive energy that people naturally gravitate toward. Now, I know some of you might be thinking, but Jim, isn't that just another way of trying to get people to choose me? And that's a fair question, but there's a crucial difference. When you focus on adding value and being your best self, you're not doing it to manipulate others into choosing you. You're doing it because it's the right thing to do, because it aligns with your values, because it's part of your personal growth journey. The fact that it makes you more attractive to others is a natural consequence, not the primary goal. Let's talk about fear for a moment, because often 
when we try to force someone to choose us, it's coming from a place of fear. Fear of rejection, fear of being alone, fear of missing out. But here's the thing about fear, it's a lousy decision maker. When you act from fear, you're not acting from your best self. You're acting from your insecurities, your doubts, your anxieties, and that never leads to good outcomes. Instead of letting fear drive your actions, let your values guide you. What kind of person do you want to be? What principles do you want to live by? When you align your actions with your values, you build integrity. And integrity, my friends, is like a magnet for quality relationships and opportunities. Now let's address another aspect of this, the idea of scarcity versus abundance. When you try to force someone to choose you, you're operating from a scarcity mindset. You're believing that this person, this opportunity, is the only one for you, but that's simply not true. The world is full of amazing people, incredible opportunities, and unexpected connections waiting to be made. Adopting an abundance mindset doesn't mean you don't value the relationships and opportunities you have. It simply means you understand that your worth isn't dependent on any one person or thing. It means you trust that if something doesn't work out, something else, perhaps something even better, will come along. This mindset shift is powerful. It allows you to approach relationships and opportunities with a sense of ease and confidence. You're not desperately trying to hold on to something out of fear of losing it. Instead, you're open to what comes, appreciative of what you have, and trusting in your ability to navigate whatever life brings your way. Let's talk about authenticity for a moment. When you're trying to force someone to choose you, you often end up presenting a version of yourself that you think they want to see. You might downplay certain aspects of your personality, exaggerate others, or even pretend to be something you're not. But here's the truth. That never works in the long run. Authenticity is key. Being true to yourself, embracing your quirks, owning your flaws. That's what makes you unique. That's what makes you interesting. That's what makes you real. And in a world full of people trying to be someone else, being genuinely yourself is refreshing and attractive. Now, I'm not saying you shouldn't strive to improve yourself. Personal growth is crucial, but there's a difference between growing into a better version of yourself and trying to become someone else entirely. The former is empowering. The latter is exhausting and ultimately unfulfilling. Remember, the right people will appreciate you for who you are. They'll be drawn to your authentic self flaws and all. And those are the relationships worth having, the ones where you can be fully, unapologetically yourself. Let's consider the concept of personal power for a moment. When you try to force someone to choose you, you're giving away your power. You're putting your sense of worth, your happiness, your future in someone else's hands. But true personal power comes from within. It comes from knowing your worth, from being comfortable with who you are, from being able to stand on your own two feet. Developing this kind of personal power takes time and effort. It requires self-reflection, self-awareness, and a commitment to growth. But it's worth it, because when you have this kind of inner strength, you don't need others to validate. You don't need to force anyone to choose you, because you've already chosen yourself. Now let's talk about resilience. Life is full of ups and downs. Relationships come and go. Opportunities appear and disappear. The only constant is change. And that's why resilience is so crucial. When you're resilient, you can weather the storms of life without losing your sense of self. If you've been trying to force someone to choose you and it doesn't work out, resilience is what will help you bounce back. It's what will remind you that your worth isn't tied to any one person's opinion of you. It's what will give you the strength to keep moving forward, to keep growing, to keep believing in yourself. Building resilience is like building a muscle. It takes practice. It takes facing challenges and learning from them. It takes falling down and getting back up again. But with each challenge you overcome, with each setback you bounce back from, you become stronger. You become more confident in your ability to handle whatever life throws your way. Let's shift gears for a moment and talk about the power of choice. 
When you try to force someone to choose you, you're actually robbing them of the power of choice. And choice, my friends, is one of the most fundamental human rights. It's what gives our decisions meaning. It's what allows us to shape our own lives by respecting others' right to choose. You're not only honoring their autonomy, but you're also setting a standard for how you want to be treated. You're saying, I respect your right to make your own decisions, and I expect the same respect in return. This creates a foundation of mutual respect. That's essential for any healthy relationship. Moreover, when someone chooses you freely, without coercion or manipulation, it's so much more meaningful. It's a genuine expression of their feelings, their desires, their assessment of who you are and what you bring to their life. And isn't that what we all want? To be chosen for who we truly are? Not for who we're pretending to be or who we're pressuring someone to see us as. Now, let's talk about the concept of adding value. This is something I've touched on before, but it's worth exploring in more depth. When you focus on adding value to others' lives, instead of trying to force them to choose you, you create a positive ripple effect. You become someone people want to be around, someone people seek out someone people naturally choose. Adding value can take many forms. It might be offering your skills or expertise to help someone with a problem. It might be being a good listener when someone needs to talk. It might be sharing knowledge or insights that can help others grow. Whatever form it takes, when you consistently add value to others' lives, you become invaluable. This approach not only makes you more attractive to others, but it also enriches your own life. It gives you a sense of purpose, a feeling of contribution. It helps you grow and learn. And it creates a network of positive relationships based on mutual benefit rather than obligation or manipulation. Let's consider the role of self-respect in all of this. When you try to force someone to choose you, you're essentially saying that you don't respect yourself enough to walk away from a situation where you're not valued. You're saying that you'd rather have someone's reluctant attention than no attention at all. But is that really what you want? Is that really what you deserve? Self-respect is about knowing your worth and being willing to walk away from situations or relationships that don't honor that worth. It's about having standards for how you want to be treated and sticking to those standards, even when it's difficult. It's about valuing yourself enough to know that you deserve to be chosen freely, not because you've manipulated or pressured someone into choosing you. Developing self-respect is a journey. It often involves unlearning harmful beliefs we've picked up along the way. It involves setting boundaries and learning to enforce them. It involves practicing self-care and self-compassion. But as you develop greater self-respect, you'll find that you naturally attract people and opportunities that align with your worth. Now let's talk about the power of letting go. This can be one of the hardest things to do, especially when we really want someone to choose us. But sometimes letting go is the most powerful thing you can do. It shows strength. It shows self-respect. And paradoxically, it often makes you more attractive to others. When you let go, you're saying, I value myself enough to walk away from a situation that's not serving me. You're saying, I trust that the right opportunities and relationships will come along. You're saying, I'm comfortable with myself and my worth, regardless of whether this particular person chooses me or not. Letting go creates space in your life. Space for new opportunities, new relationships, new growth. It allows you to redirect your energy towards things that truly serve you, towards people who value you as you are. And often, it's only when we let go that we create the conditions for the right things to come into our lives. Let's consider the concept of personal boundaries for a moment. When you try to force someone to choose you, you're often crossing your own boundaries and disrespecting theirs. Healthy boundaries are crucial for any relationship whether it's romantic, professional, or platonic. Boundaries are about knowing where you end and the other person begins. They're about respecting your own needs and limits and respecting those of others. When you have strong, healthy boundaries, you don't need to force anyone to choose you because you're comfortable with who you are and what you have to offer. 
Setting and maintaining boundaries can be challenging, especially if you're not used to it. It might feel uncomfortable at first. You might worry about pushing people away. But in reality, healthy boundaries create the foundation for deeper, more meaningful connection. They allow for mutual respect and understanding. Now, let's talk about the importance of timing. Sometimes when we're trying to force someone to choose us, we're ignoring the reality of timing. Maybe it's not the right time for them. Maybe it's not the right time for us. Maybe the circumstances just aren't aligning in the way we want them to. Recognizing and respecting the importance of timing can be liberating. It takes the pressure off. It allows you to trust in the process of life, to believe that things will unfold as they should. It doesn't mean you become passive waiting for things to happen to you. Rather, it means you continue to work on yourself, to pursue your goals, to live your best life, trusting that the right opportunities and relationships will come at the right time. This perspective shift can be powerful Instead of anxiously trying to force things to happen on your timeline, you can relax into the flow of life. You can focus on being the best version of yourself, on adding value to the world around you, on enjoying the journey rather than fixating on a particular destination. Let's talk about the power of choice, your choice. When you're focused on getting someone else to choose you, you're neglecting your own power of choice. You're putting all your energy into being chosen rather than doing the choosing yourself. Remember, relationships of any kind, romantic, professional, platonic, are a two-way street. It's not just about whether they choose you, but whether you choose them. Are they aligned with your values? Do they bring out the best in you? Do they support your growth and respect your boundaries? By shifting your focus to your own power of choice, you reclaim your agency. You remind yourself that you have the power to decide who and what you want in your life. This shift in perspective can be incredibly empowering. It puts you back in the driver's seat of your own life. Now, let's consider the role of self-fulfillment in all of this. Often, when we're trying to force someone to choose us, we're looking for external validation. We're hoping that being chosen will make us feel complete, will fill some void within us. But true fulfillment comes from within. Self-fulfillment is about living in alignment with your values, pursuing your passions, working towards your goals. It's about developing your talents, expanding your knowledge, growing as a person. When you focus on self-fulfillment, you become more confident, more interesting, more alive. And paradoxically, this makes you more attractive to others. Moreover, when you're fulfilled in yourself, you don't need others to complete you. You can enjoy relationships and connections for what they are without the desperate need to be chosen that comes from feeling incomplete on your own. Let's talk about the power of vulnerability. Now, this might seem counterintuitive when we're discussing not forcing someone to choose you, but hear me out. True vulnerability the kind that comes from self-awareness and self-acceptance is incredibly powerful. When you're vulnerable, you're honest about who you are, including your fears, your insecurities, your hopes, and your dreams. You're not trying to present a perfect facade or manipulate someone into choosing you. You're simply being real. This kind of vulnerability takes courage. It's risky, but it's also deeply connecting. It allows for genuine intimacy and understanding, and it's far more likely to attract the right people into your life, people who appreciate you for who you truly are. Now, let's consider the concept of personal growth again. When you're focused on forcing someone to choose you, you're often stagnating. You're pouring all your energy into this one goal, neglecting your own development in the process. But when you shift your focus to personal growth, Amazing things happen. You become more confident, more capable, more interesting. You develop new skills, gain new insights, broaden your horizons. And as you grow, you naturally become more attractive. Not just to one specific person, but to people and opportunities in general. Personal growth is a lifelong journey. It's about constantly striving to be a better version of yourself, not for anyone else, but for you.
It's about learning, evolving, expanding your understanding of yourself and the world around you. And the beautiful thing is, the more you grow, the more you have to offer to yourself and to others. But when you cultivate self-love, everything changes. You no longer need others to choose you because you've already chosen yourself. You know your worth, you appreciate your unique qualities, and you treat yourself with kindness and respect. This self-love radiates outward, making you naturally more attractive to others. It's not about being perfect or never having doubts. It's about accepting yourself fully, flaws and all, and committing to your own growth and happiness. Now, let's bring this all together. Remember, life is a journey, not a destination. Your focus shouldn't be on forcing someone to choose you, but on becoming the best version of yourself. Invest in your personal growth, cultivate self-love, set healthy boundaries, and add value to the world around you. Trust in your own worth and in the natural unfolding of life's opportunities. Be authentic, be vulnerable, be resilient, and most importantly, choose yourself first. As you move forward from here, I want you to remember their say. You are worthy of being chosen freely without coercion or manipulation. You deserve relationships and opportunities that align with your values and support your growth. Don't settle for less out of fear or insecurity. Have the courage to let go of what's not serving you, to make space for what truly aligns with who you are and who you're becoming. In the end, it's not about being chosen by any one person or for any one opportunity. It's about living a life of purpose, growth, and authenticity. It's about becoming someone you're proud to be, someone who adds value to the world. When you focus on that, you become magnetic. You attract the right people and opportunities naturally without having to force anything. So go forth with confidence, my friends. Embrace your journey of personal growth. Trust in your own worth and never ever force anyone to choose you. Because when you truly value yourself, the right people and opportunities will naturally gravitate towards you. And those are the ones worth having. Thank you. And remember, the most important choice is the one you make every day to be the best version of yourself.